live from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. New information tonight on a triple shooting in Clay County that left a mother of three dead. Today, her father told us he's trying to help his grandchildren cope with the terrible loss. We also learned today that one of the surviving victims, Jay Wooten, may not make it. We're told Wooten no longer has any brain function. He and his son Shane were both shot on New Year's Eve at a home in Keystone Heights. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson is outside the Clay County Sheriff's Office. Scott, have either of the suspects arrested in this case been charged with murder? Not at this point. They still are not charged with that. Lesser crimes at this point. Taylor Hill was wanted by the Clay County Sheriff's Office for around a month. We learned he cut his ankle monitor off around a month ago and tossed it after he was essentially evicted from the place he was living. He got out of jail along with the female suspect just as recently as this past September. The news has been heartbreaking to Rodney Lewis. His daughter, Liza Dukes, a mother of three, lost her life to gunfire in Keystone Heights. It's hard to explain unless you go through it. You know, your daughter is taken away from you like that. It's just words cannot explain what I'm going through. Lewis says he doesn't have all the details, but just knows he needs to help his grandchildren, whose mother is now gone. She lived there with her boyfriend and her boyfriend's father. Um, it was Shane Wooten and, and Jay Wooten. And uh, all, all three of them were shot. They killed my daughter uh, first, I guess. It's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Um, but they killed her right there. And then... Um, the other two are in the hospital, from what I understand, in critical condition. And we've learned from the incident report that Jay Wooten may not survive. It reads, James Wooten suffered a gunshot wound to the head and has no brain activity. And as far as the two suspects, Taylor Hill and Victoria Skifo, they were in a car crash when deputies finally took them into custody after a chase. Skifo appears injured in her mug shop but was medically cleared, and reports show Taylor was taken to the hospital due to possibly sustaining a broken pelvic bone. 